in this problem, you are given a position in miles versus time in hours uh, plot. Forty, eighty, one hundred and twenty, and that's it. And over here, all zero hours one, two, three, four, five. And that's it, but I'm going to include the six. And the plot, so it's a straight line from 120 to zero in two hours. So it looks like that. And then, uh, it stays at zero for one hour. And then uh, from three, between three and five hours, it goes from zero to 80. So something like that. I'm gonna get rid of these six. So the, the problem is to consist of writing a short description of the motion of a real object for which the figure on the left will be a realistic position versus time graph. And there are a few things that we can consider. For example, the motion is only in X, so it's one dimensional. Uh, the units is miles, so this is a pretty significant distance. And the slopes over here are constant, so we can get uh, velocities. So first let's write uh, what will be happening here. So I don't know, let's say that a person uh, is driving and it's initially at 120 miles and it drives to zero miles, right? So it's gonna drive to the left or to the negative uh, direction. So let's just say that he's going west. Person driving west for 120 miles. Uh, in two hours. So speed is 60 miles per hour. So, you know, that's um, speed that you might uh, drive at when you're on the freeway. Um, maybe it's a little bit too low when you're like outside of the city, but you know, you can definitely, it's is perfectly fine to drive at 60 miles per hour. Um, so then the person stops then stops 
for one hour. And you know, you can imagine that a lot of stuff happened in that hour. I don't know, maybe, maybe the person grabbed some food, or maybe you know, run out of of gas. Um, you know, something happened here. So the idea is that you can be uh, creative. So let's say that something um, you know, not horrible happened. Mm. This person was driving west for 120 miles. That's what, it's like Van Horn or something. Um, let me check very quickly. Yeah. So Van Horn to El Paso is 119 miles. So that's really close. So let's say that person is driving west. Um, to El Paso. From uh, Van Horn. One hundred and twenty miles in two hours, so at sixty miles per hour, then stops for one hour um, to eat at Lucy's Cafe on Mesa. And then um, it's going to go back, right? So the uh, here the slope is negative. So it means that the velocity was to the left. But here the slope is positive. So that means that the velocity is to the right. So now it's going to go east, right? So then uh, drives uh, east. for two hours, but only 80 miles. Then drives ease uh, for two hours, uh, 80 miles. So 40 miles per hour. And hmm, I don't know what's 80 miles from El Paso, maybe like, I don't know, Sierra Blanco or something. Um, I don't think Horizon is that far away, but let's say that um, stops. Well, actually, that's it. We don't know if he stopped or not, right? That is the end of uh, the information that we have. So this is the, the whole story. So here the slope is negative, so zero minus 120 miles, zero miles uh, divided by two hours minus zero hours. Well, that's 120 minus 120 divided by two. That's negative 60 miles per hour. And this one is 80 divided by two, 40 miles per hour, right? So the negative over here tells you the sign or the direction. So it's going to the left. Here, the sign is positive. So it's going to the right. And yeah, this is a perfectly, you know, feasible interpretation uh, of what's going on. But, you know, um, as you can see, a single graph 
might apply to a lot of, of situations or a lot of situations are going to be similar, even if not identical. So yeah, uh, good problem. I hope you liked it.